Are you planning a trip to Budapest? Prepare yourself for something really exciting. From the moment you land, this inconspicuous capital in Central Europe will make you feel like you've found yourself a new cozy holiday destination. All you need to do now is sit back and relax. Planning your trip a little in advance will turn your stay into an unforgettable experience. But before we get started, for those of you who are new here, say hello and connect with us by subscribing to our channel. We've got tons of videos out and more in the making. And we'd love to hear from you what made you decide to see Budapest. Today we're in Budapest and we're about to explore one of the most iconic places in Budapest, which is... The Szczecini Baths. I'm not too, too sure whether I'm pronouncing it correctly. I think it might be Szczecini. So we're starting our top 10 list of things to do in Budapest with a trip to the best bathhouse you can find in Budapest. Start your Budapest experience by soaking in a tantalizing thermal bath. Seicheni, also the largest spa in Europe. With a beautiful and totally symmetrical interior, you can find yourself in one of the three possible scenarios. 1. Experience what it feels like being a soft-boiled egg. 2. Dipping into chilly 16 degrees, the maximum you'll ever get in a North Sea. <laughs> feels like you land on an Arctic Sea or somewhere. Or 3. Soaking in a blissful 36 degrees water where all you ever want is for that moment to never end. What's on the cards? 18 pools, medicinal waters with healing properties and a giant whirlpool where grown-ups fall around and behave like oversized 5-year-old kids with their beards and beer bellies. On Saturday nights, expect manic party raves with 3D laser projections and DJs. More about it in our Say Cheney vlog. Okay guys, are you ready? We're about to enter Gunner. Or, if you want to impress your significant other, this is pretty much guaranteed to make them go weak at their knees. Take them to the spa palace by treating them to Gullet. Gullet's geothermal pools are known for their ultimate beauty. Check out our Girl at Bath video for the full pampering experience. And since you're on the Buddha side, take tram 19 and head to... Fisherman's Bastion. Did you know that the seven towers of Fisherman's Bastion represent the seven Hungarian tribes? Yeah. Our Budapest guide wouldn't be the same without covering Budapest's most scenic and romantic spot. Actually, not just in Budapest, but also in Europe talking about Fisherman's Bastion. It's all over guides, postcards and Instagram of course. Why do we love it so much? 1. Because of its breathtaking panoramic city views. 2. It's nothing like what you'll see elsewhere in Budapest and it's free! This construction dates back to the 19th century and it features the first king of Hungary. It's so beautiful here that a hotel goes for 5 to 10 times the average rent price in Budapest. More on this in our Fisherman's Bastion video. Did I mention that you could also have your very own candlelit dinner in one of the towers with live musicians and a private balcony where you can get a perfect view of the Parliament building. So the Parliament building is not actually accessible to the public, it's only accessible via a guided tour. Uh, you can get a beautiful view of the Parliament building on the Buddha side of the, of the river, which is where we are now, and even better from Fisherman's uh, Bastion. So if you go to Fisherman's Bastion, from the top, you've got a perfect view of the Parliament Building. The Parliament Building, along with Fisherman's Bastion, are the most imposing architectural wonders of Hungary, at least in our eyes. Our favourite place to see it? It's got to be the night view from Fisherman's Bastion. It's also the largest building in Hungary. If you have 
to pick a single place that tells you a dark story of Budapest, it will be the House of Terror, which is right behind us right now. If you want to see the darker side of tourism in Budapest, visit House of Terror, home to the former headquarters of the Nazi and later Soviet secret police. It's going to be a real eye-opener. However, expect queues, around half an hour to about an hour. If you ever wondered what it felt like having to endure Nazi invasion and then four decades of communist regime, you'll get a very good gist here. This is going to be one of the best history lessons you'll ever have. This is literally the Orwellian dystopian vision of the world. It's sad, it's not a fiction, it actually did happen. Give yourself about an hour to two. The rooms are filled with terror and totalitarian slogans. You can't help to notice the brainwashing propaganda, the black and white pictures from the forced labour camps. And last but not least, the social realist paintings featuring good old Uncle Joe. If you somehow manage to escape the House of Terror, you can find yourself in a sanctuary which is only a short walk away. Which is exactly where we're taking you next. So guys, we're outside of the Hanni Street Synagogue, which is the largest synagogue in the whole of Europe. Uh, this place was built in 18, the 1850s and it seats up to 3,000 people. The beautiful architecture was inspired by the Arabic North African and Alhambra patterns. The interior is incredibly artistic and symmetrical with beautiful blush pink walls and chandeliers, asking for that picture perfect shot when the light shines through the glass stained windows. There are security checks before you get in, so just be prepared. You need to wear modest clothing with longer sleeves and cover your legs. And guys, you'll be given a kippah to wear inside the synagogue at all times. Located in the Jewish Quarter, it witnessed the atrocities which happened inside the Budapest ghetto during World War II. There's also a Jewish museum if you want to learn a little bit more about Jewish culture. And on the outside, there's a mass burial telling a dark story of the Holocaust. If you happen to be peckish, there are a few Jewish cafes to try kosher food too, but if you prefer something more Hungarian like we did... So we're going to try uh, the famous langosh, which is one of the dishes you must try here it's something in like, Budapest. Something that was brought by the Romans in the ancient times to Hungary. Trying street food in Budapest is a must, and if there was one single thing to try, it would be langosh. And remember that you won't find it outside of Hungary. You can easily find language stands and restaurants dotted all over Budapest, so take advantage of it whilst you're here. And once you're ready for the comprehensive culinary tour, head to... So Central Market Hall is considered to be the oldest, dating back to the 19th century, largest and probably the prettiest indoor market hall in the whole of Budapest. Apart from offering an awesome shelter during an unexpected downpour, like it did in our case, Central Market Hall is your gateway into Hungarian signature dishes and some of the best comfort food out there. Split across a couple of floors, it's cramped and vibrant. Things to try and buy. Paprika, Hungary's spicy obsession. Tokai, the sweet wine that made it all the way to Versailles. Palinka, the fruit brandy and kolbash, the Hungarian salami. And if that's not enough, treat your taste buds to goulash or skewers, they'll be screaming for more. Sounds like a place you wouldn't mind hanging out for some delicious food? You can learn more about it in our Central Market Hall video where we take you on a Hungarian street food tour all around it. Enough of food now, time to burn off those excess calories in town. So we're finally made a simple home. Somehow this place reminds me of Shorty. That's right guys, the vibrant nightlife here is not to be missed and the heart of it is nowhere else but Simplak Kurt. I know it's pretty hard to believe that this place didn't even exist up until 2002 and it was made from dilapidated buildings. However, now this place is heaving! Check out our Budapest nightlife video which covers this in more detail. And if the party animal in you is dormant for whatever reason, then there are several other places you could go for a romantic stroll instead. And there is no better place than... The famous Chain Bridge, connecting Buddha to Pest. 
Make the most of Budapest and explore it on foot whenever you can. The chain bridge is the first permanent suspension bridge in Hungary dating back to the mid 19th century. The unparalleled architecture and the romantic scenery create a perfect opportunity for a stroll by the majestic Danube River with the views of Budapest. At night, the glistening lights make this city look so charming that you will want to stay for another hour. And another hour. And you know it's iconic when Katy Perry features it in a firework music video. The graceful Danube River is also witness to some of the most chilling atrocities of the Holocaust. On the pest side of the Danube River, the sculpture of around 60 pairs of iron shoes from the 1940s tells the haunting story of thousands of people who were mass executed that spanned across two months from December 1944. During those freezing cold winter nights, the Arrow Cross Party soldiers would pull the shoestrings from the shoes of their victims, then tie their hands together before shooting them and then throwing their bodies into the freezing cold water. And before we wrap it up, there is one more place you simply cannot miss. Before we show you this amazing view from up here, first we can take you through St Stephen's Basilica along with how we got up here. Expect the finest restaurants, cocktail bars and cafes dotted around St Stephen's Basilica, Budapest's prime location. It's vibrant both daytime and in the evenings, so you could just hang out, dine here or enjoy an evening stroll. St Stephen's Basilica is Budapest's largest church and is free to enter, although donations are welcome. The interior is very beautiful and decorated with golden ornaments, mosaics and stained glass, generating amazing echo and acoustic sounds. If you're brave enough to tolerate a bit of gore, head to the left of the altar to see the thousand year old relics of the right hand that belonged to St Stephen, the first king of Hungary. Now we're going to go to the top. Um, the tickets are a thousand foreign each. You get, you get the lift or take the stairs. It's the same price. If you want to keep fit, obviously you take the stairs. But if you want to be lazy, then take the lift. So we've decided to take the stairs. Okay, looks like we're halfway there. It's only 145 steps left, so that's not too bad, I guess. If you do take the stairs, you're going to see those amazing Instagrammable stairs of St. Stephen's Basilica, and they're really, really breathtaking. So. Yeah. That, that's rewarding. what's going to take it out of breath. <laughs> so we're on top of St. Stephen's Basilica, which in fact, along with Parliament Building, is one of the tallest buildings in Budapest, although it's only 96 metres tall. There you have it, our guide with the top 10 things to do in Budapest. I'm starting to think that Budapest stole my heart. It might be your case too. If you want to see more, now you know where to find us. Once you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell, you'll be the first one to see our new videos as soon as they come out.